Hey there, well we made it back for the winter, beautiful sunny Arizona. We're going to be here of course until it starts getting hot again, but uh, while we're here we need to do some RV maintenance. Um, today I'm looking at my slide seals um, on my driver's side, or off door side. Uh, I have some deteriorated seals we're going to take a look at. And um, it's basically just the bulb seal on the outside, uh, the wiper seals and the seals on the interior are fine, but the wiper seals on the outside are fine. Just this bulb seal that seals tight against the slide um, edge is all that's bad. So um, I ordered this bulb seal. Let me pull it out of the box here, I'll show you. So I ordered this off of Amazon, and you can see it's just a, it's just a bulb. I can get it in focus here. Just a bulb seal, and it's got this little track there's actually a track on the rv that this slides into and then it's fastened with a screw at the top and some sealant uh, so um, we're going to take a look today at how easy this is to replace and i'll show you how to take the old bulb seal off and how to install the new one and uh, yeah i think it's going to be a good time so stay tuned All right, so let's take a look at this bulb seal. You can see here, let's see if I can get close enough. Um, you can see here that this is you know, similar to what I just showed you that I ordered off Amazon. And I'll put the link uh, to the part number and all that below in the description. So if you guys need to get this bulb seal, um, it's I think what I guess like 35 feet long and um, I think it's an inch wide, but it should be pretty standard. This is where it seals tight up against the RV. Um, and this bulb seal is the part that's shot on mine. And you can see that the wiper seal screws to the side and has this track that this slides up into. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up top here. We're gonna go way up here. And we're gonna take a screw out and uh, this slide seal will slide out of this track and then we can slide the new one in the track. All right, now we're up on top um, of the slide and you can see here, this is the top, but this is a screw here that holds in the top seal. And this is a screw, let me pull this down a little, here that used to hold this up, but you can see it's completely pulled out. So um, I'll pull this, these screws out with my screwdriver. This track will slide off um, and then uh, slide all the way down like that. And we'll slide it all the way off and then we'll replace it, um, cut the new one to fit and put the screw back in it. And then we'll come back, we'll come back and reseal all this right here. So. Um, we should be good to go um, and we'll do this side we'll do the, the opposite side and we'll do across the top as well okay the screw is actually broken which is pretty common um, found a bunch of these around the rig and replaced them so uh, we'll get a new one of these oops We'll get a new one of these to stick in there, but um, got some sealant jammed in the head of the other screw, so I'm gonna go get a knife and kind of clean that sealant out so I can pull it out. And these are really uh, square head screws um, instead of Phillips, but Phillips works fine in them um, as long as there's no sealant. So let me go clean that out and I'll be right back. It's just a self-tapping uh, flathead screw, square point, but like I said, this works fine in it as long as there's no sealant, so I got it out. Now, um, this rear slide seal and the top slide seal are loose on this end, so we'll go ahead and pull this one out. Let me move my ladder just a bit. So we'll go ahead and pull this one out um, completely. Like I said before, it just slides down this track, just, just that easy. And uh, the only trouble you might have 
is up top where the sealant was. Um, I noticed that the top, the top seal um, had a little bit of sealant on it. It was kind of stuck on the end, so I kind of popped it out. So now it'll slide through for me. But um, I got this one out already. See, that was pretty simple. Let me uh, go up to the other end, go up top, and we'll pull the other one out. All right. So we're here on the other side. Um, same situation, slide seal. And you can see up here up top where it's kind of shot. It's kind of peeling back down. Um, so we're going to go up there, take out that screw. Same with the other one. And we're going to slide this one down. And we're going to also slide the top one out this direction. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way you go, left or right. But um, while we're here, this is the last screw. So I might as well just pull it out. And then we'll go from there. Okay. Got both of these screws out right here. So here's the one for the vertical. And that was the one for the horizontal. And this is a sealant. I was telling you about that this one was kind of stuck on. So let's pull this one down. It just slides all the way out the bottom. Okay, let's see here. So again, that screw at the top is the only screw holding this thing up right there. Oops, right there. So you can see, see this one's kind of Shot. So we're going to replace it. So that one's done. Now let's go back up top. Let's see if we can. I notice if you pop it off the track, um, it tends to come out. And I'm going to have to clean all this sealant up to get the new one on that track. But uh, this one should slide out. I think they have it sealed all the way across the top, too. Yeah, they do. Right there. So. This one's not playing as nice as the other one. Okay, let's go take a look. I finally got the top one in. As you can see, it wasn't really as difficult as I thought, but I had some trouble with this track because it's kind of deformed a little from the screw that's behind the seal. So I had a little trouble getting it to stay on the bottom, but you can see it slid right in underneath the old sealant. So next we'll do this, this end one. Um, one thing I did do on the top, let me go back up here, is I left it a little bit long, uh, just so I can fasten the other end to get it, make sure it's in there and kind of relaxed. I don't want to stretch the seal. I just want to make sure it's in the track and relaxed. And then I'll attach the other end. And then I'll come back and cut this in to fit. Now, we're gonna slide this bottom one up here. Okay, so I got this one slid up there. You see all brand new right here. So I slid it back down just a little bit, just so I could expose this screw hole right here. And I'm gonna put the screw in to the back, the backing part of the seal, not through the rubber, and slide it up and put it in that hole. So I'm gonna approximate that hole, put the screw in, and then I'll show you what I've got when I'm done. There we go. So that'll get sealed up. This will get trimmed off shorter as I do the after I do the other end. So this one's pretty much done, except for sealant, and I have to trim the bottom. So we're gonna trim it. Just I'm gonna go just past this this bracket. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm gonna trim it right here. And it's really soft. Well, not really soft, but it's soft enough you can trim it with a razor blade. Go. And that is the factory installation. Now, what I considered is coming in the bottom here with a screw um, to hold that in, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes as we go down the road and see if it's another issue. But, um, but yeah, that's about all there is to it. Now I'm going to go install the other end, get the top one uh, adjusted and trimmed, and then uh, we'll uh, seal it up.
I got it all trimmed and sealed. So I just sealed around where the two seals meet. I sealed back in the corner and then in where that screw is that secures the top, I sealed in there and then just kind of came around where the factory seal was. Okay, well there you have it. Another RV project in the books. Um, got it all done, it's all sealed up and ready to go. Um, this is a fairly straightforward project, fairly simple. Um, it's a little difficult to pull that top slide seal through by yourself, but I was able to do it, so um, I know you can. Again, I ordered this uh, slide seal, came in a roll off of Amazon, I think it was 35 feet. And I had, I don't know, probably four and a half feet left over. And my slide is uh, 12 feet long. So I've got a few more how-to videos um, on their way to you guys. Um, I hope that you find these valuable. I really enjoy doing them and uh, kind of, you know, hopefully help someone along the way. So um, if, you do, if you liked this video, please like, uh, share, and subscribe. Um, let your friends know if someone's having slide seal trouble and they have the same type of seals I have. Um, please pass this video along. And um, until next time, uh, safe travels, and we'll catch you later. Bye.